All right, so I'm just going to be doing a video here on um, an Izuku Asagi Copa Stone from Chef Knives to Go. Uh, there's a couple of videos, I think, out on uh, YouTube on this stone, and I'm doing uh, more or less a review for a friend of mine. But uh, what I have here is my 8K uh, Naniwa Gukin Fuji. I just wanted to take the edge of this razor back to an 8K. Uh, before I get started on the Izuku, which is right here. So this is my stone that I got in, uh, I think, 2018 from Chef Nice to Go. The Izuku Asagi is a, it's a hard JNAT. It's not super hard, but it is a hard stone. This particular one um, sort of tapers from the back to the front on both sides. And then also there's a slight taper side to side but uh, a nice straight edge over here which makes it easy to hone whether you're left or right-handed uh, for razors it makes it pretty easy um, I have success using this stone uh, either with a diamond plate or with a um, tomo and just to kind of show you you know how hard the stone is This is a rather worn DMT, and you know it, it does raise a slurry. But I mean, I'm applying some pressure there too, and uh, this isn't a muddy slurry. Unlike, let's say, um, you know, this is a it's called a show. I believe it's a show Hansen. This is a, a you know mid-range finisher, and just a couple of passes here. And it's already slurried up considerably okay so the um the izuku asagi is a hard you know i, I don't know l level four maybe four and a half i would say i i really don't know uh, but i get really nice edges off of this stone and uh, typically you know again I'll, I'll use off of a 4k um a dmt slurry and, and then i'll finish on a tomo slurry off the eight, um, it doesn't really matter. I'll just I'll just go ahead and use this as opposed to a Tomo stone, which I have uh, right here. Um, anyway, so I'll zoom in a little bit so you get a sense as to how um, you know how aggressive the stone is too. Okay, and I'll just do some half strokes. And already I can see, you might not be able to, but right here leading the edge, it's turning gray. So it's pretty fast with the... With the slurry. And that's that's already changed color pretty significantly. Now what's interesting with this, um, you know, and, and like most JNAPs, that slurry, I, I guess, uh, breaks down. Uh, but this will actually really start to change to almost more of a brown color. Um, and that's that's when I know that I think I've, I've really maxed out that slurry is when it really just starts to change from a gray a light gray to a dark gray and then almost to a brown and and you'll see that here and I'm just doing just round trip laps right now So I don't know why it turns this brownish color. I, perhaps it's just oxidizing. Um, maybe it's the... So I'll, I'll, I'll kind of bring up that slurry so you can see what that looks like on the blade now. And then you'll see what it looks like in, after probably another, I don't know, 30 or 40 passes. So the shaves that I get off of the Izuku Asagi are everything you would expect from a nice JNAT. Um, they're crisp, um, very comfortable. You know, usually it's just a two-pass shave is all that's needed, at least for me. 
I've recently acquired a couple of other JNATs, and um, and I'm really enjoying the edges off of those as well. Obviously, I'm getting really good undercut here, so I know um, the razors, you know, this is, it's, and it's finishing. And usually when I start to see these bubbles pop up too, I know that I'm getting close to maximizing the, uh, the slurry, at least with this stone. I think uh, on Chef Knives to Go, they'll have these for sale for about $75 plus shipping and tax. And um, you can actually, at least you used to be able to set an alert when they would become available. And that alert would come into your email inbox. And um, then you can place your order because from what I understand, they, they sell quick. Whenever, whenever they get them, they don't last long. I'm just going to take some of that slurry off. Start watering this down. I find that um, this, this particular stone does best uh, when I don't finish on just plain water. For me at least, it's... Um, I'll leave a little bit of that slurry left. some reason the slurry isn't changing colors like it normally would it still has well it's it's turning maybe slightly brown if you can see it I'm not sure I'll um, add some more water I'm going to finish it here real soon, take a look under the loop, strop, and do a hanging hair test. Yeah, so this has that you know, beautiful bead blasted look like you would expect. Looks really nice. I'm gonna strop, I'll be right back. I can get this into frame. Boom, 
okay that just cut little slight catch and dropped right off that's probably a four here in the middle same thing slight catch and it fell right down at the heel Okay, so obviously I had to coax that one a little bit, but once it caught, it just actually was a silent slice. And that was a silent slice. So, um, treetop. See if I can get that in the frame. Hopefully you can see that. I'm easily treetopping here, so. That's the Izuku Asagi. These are, in my opinion, uh, it's a great value stone. And this is the first Japanese natural stone that I bought. And I've since um, got into some other options. Uh, but if you're looking for something to start off with a JNAT, I'd recommend these. And uh, comment below. Let me know if you have any questions or thoughts. Thanks.